Windows source code, is it executable? Really? I think so, yeah. Uh, that's what the wine link is about. Okay, so... You'd have to read up on it, though. I haven't used it personally before, but that's what I think the general idea is. Okay, so it might be worth doing it. Uh, sorry, I don't, I don't uh, know. Sorry. What wine itself is a separate uh, program which allows, which attempts to uh, allow you to run Windows applications yeah. on Linux. Yeah. But the uh, wine lib is a separate <coughs> which allows, which try, attempts to allow you to compile Windows source code for Linux. Okay. Do you know what li what license it's under? Um, no, but you just have to look that up. Huh? Well, we know that so uh, when you. Sorry. Google uses it for Picasa. Sorry? Google. Yeah? They use it for Picasa for Linux. Alright. Okay. So it might be something to look at, look, at, look at before. Maybe if it's quick to make, maybe before the Java runtime. We don't know. I'll have a look at that. Can we see more widget support? Perhaps a more advanced tree object where you can have several columns? Mm -hmm. uh, well, we support a lot of widgets of Windows or all the controls, etc. Uh, and we do not actually have plans to do that. We have to concentrate on the, all the core engine and not on the extensions. Uh, so we may improve the tree object for MMF3, we don't know. Are there any plans to, for, to allow more compati compatibility with Flash? Um, we cannot make a Flash runtime. Uh, I've uh, investigated that. Um, the actual uh, you know, you've got action script, but action script is not what Flash is reading. Uh, Flash is reading a kind of pseudo pile oriented language, which is. Sorry? Is it like uh, Mangle bytecode? It's not bytecode, it's. Uh, well, it, it works with bytes. But it's pushing data in the files and then pushing the operators and doing the operation. Assembly. And it's very basic, actually. So. Uh, uh, I cannot see me myself programming a runtime in, in that, or, it's, or I would have I would have to com to make a compiler and then uh, use my compiler, etc. So it's impossible. But what is possible? Uh, you know, for the moment, it, in order to play a Flash movie, you need to use the ActiveX object and insert the Flash player in it. It works, but it could be possible to make a pseudo Flash object that would automatically load the Flash player. So you would drop the flash object and it would play the file. So it would be simple to make and it would be a good solution. <coughs> Some plan for support of creation of vectorial graph. So we have Sfax here who will talk about this vector object later in the afternoon. And uh, do you plan on integrating standard file format like doc, PDF, etc.? Uh, well, if, if we do the flash player object, we'll have the core of uh, ActiveX loader object. So it might be possible to use, uh, instead of the flash player uh, ActiveX, to use the, the Word uh, or Excel ActiveX and create doc or Excel uh, objects. That would be cool. But, you know, um, as Eve and I are going to concentrate on uh, things like the engine and the core engine, we would like this kind of things to be done by external developers because we're we just two programmers, we don't have the resources. So if any, anyone is interested, uh, uh, <laughs> maybe some money to, make, to be made. Can we help with reprogrammation of the 3D object by Kick Team? Actually, we want to forget about the original 3D object. It was so crap. So uh, we're not, it's impossible to reprogram. Everything has to be redone. Uh, what we, going, we are going to do is uh, reprogram the 3D mesh object to incorporate it in, uh, so that it works in the hardware mode. Because for the moment, the 3D mesh object, what it does, it creates a hidden surface, it renders the shapes into this surface, then it, create, it transfers the, the surface into the MMF frame. So it's a very slow process, and the 3D mesh object doesn't have a very good... Uh, frame rate for big, big, uh, big objects. So uh, by uh, making it access directly uh, the, the graphic card, it will go a lot faster and will be inter interfaced in a neat way. Any word on the earlier extension? Well, I must say we have been uh, quite deceived with the programmer who made the earlier extension. 
actually started a lot of extensions and he left them uh, <coughs> half, half finished and the Elish extension is uh, not complete. We have the source code, so but uh, no, we do not have we do not have the, the source code of the Elish extension. Sorry. So no, we do not plan anything for it. Is Kick Team developing new transition? No, we don't have time. So if anyone one of you wants to do it, it's quite simple and fun. <laughs> ah, when you have the SDK, <laughs> yes, sorry. <laughs> when the filter SDK will be available, so it's a redundant question. Uh, sometime next this year, next year? As soon as you can. <laughs> <laughs> Is a Bluetooth update going to be created anytime soon? Not by us, but certainly it would be fun to be able to use the Wiimote on, uh, on your PC. It would be quite, quite cool. So, but we, we have no plan for that. Is a text blitz a kind of object in preparation to allow us to use bitmap fonts with variable character width? So you already have the text blitter object right now, but it's fixed width, width of character. And actually transforming it into a variable width is not a very big deal to do. So, who is the creator of the user? I don't know. I don't think we have asked him, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the first thing to do would be to ask him. <laughs> <laughs> Isometric movement will it ever be incorporated into MMF? Uh, for MMF3, one of the things we want definitely want to implement is a true isometric mode. So uh, with the uh, order of sprites priority and uh, when and a special isometric movement. So when you go on the right, it goes in diagonal, etc. So it will be incorporated, but in MMF3. Support ICO files, import, export from ICON application item menu. Uh, we, n we are not going to make specific code for it, but once you have got the image filter dev kit, uh, you will be able to import uh, ICO files with it, or to create something to import. Uh, ICO files. Yeah. <coughs> when hardware graphics acceleration is implemented, Object like the lens and perspective object will become obsolete. Will our accelerated equivalent be provided? They will be provided, but by not, but not by us. So <laughs> they will have to be provided. 